Aces was a European Pro League player, former Rogue player, and most recently a Wild Pro player. He first started as a pro in 2018, and he was very good, winning multiple big tournaments, including coming in third in 2022 Gamers 8, first in Europe Pro League Season 11. He played multiple LAN tournaments and placing well in many other tournaments. But in October of 2023, Aces was suspected of cheating, and when an investigation on him happened, he updated from Windows 10 to 11, wiping his entire PC which resulted in him getting banned from competitive play until March 1st of 2025, so two years, for impeding an investigation of alleged cheating. This is a weird situation overall because how would someone that had been a pro for five years be cheating? And at the time he was banned, he hadn't qualified to a major tournament for like the whole year, and no one really knows if he was cheating because they were just doing a normal PC check and he wiped his whole PC. So he could have been trying to hide something else, but I guess we'll never know. But moving on, the next person I want to talk about is Bikini Body. Bikini Body is a very well-known YouTuber and streamer with over 1.6 million subscribers on YouTube. And yes, he was banned for cheating, which is going to sound crazy because he's so well-known, but the situation of how he got banned is even crazier. Now, Bikini Body himself wasn't cheating, but the person who got onto his account was. As to how this person got onto his account is the reason why this whole situation is so crazy. So the way this person got onto Bikini Body's account was through impersonating him. Basically, all he did was go to Ubisoft support and said that he needs to reset his account information. So the Ubisoft agent asked him to provide a receipt for a game linked to Bikini Body's Ubisoft account. So the guy just gave the Ubisoft agent a forged receipt and the Ubisoft agent changed the email of the account so the impersonator had access to Bikini Body's account. Then the impersonator asked to turn off two-step verification. His request succeeded, but what makes this even crazier is the receipt that the guy provided was completely wrong. It had the wrong date, time, payment method, and transaction ID. Everything was wrong, but the Ubisoft agent couldn't tell the difference. And you might be asking, how is this possible? Well, the Ubisoft agent I've been talking about is not even a Ubisoft agent. According to Bikini Body, this is an outsourced worker working for a less than minimum wage. So this whole security system is just flawed. But now the impersonator had access to Bikini Body's account. He went on, changed the name, hacked, got the account banned. And so all he had to do was forge a receipt, get it completely wrong, and he had free reign on Bikini Body's account. And the thing is, that had happened to Bikini Body before, so his account had been flagged as a social media influencer, so if someone was trying to impersonate him to get onto his account, they couldn't. But the person handling this on Ubisoft's side didn't even see the warning, but eventually, 24 hours later, his account was unbanned, and he got his account back, obviously, and everything was good, but the fact that this all happened is just crazy. Uh, the Ubisoft support system, security system, is just so flawed. But now moving on to the next person on this list, and it's going to be probably the most well-known player that's gotten banned and it's going to be Shiko. Shiko is a very popular current pro player for BDS. In the past few years he is known as one of the best if not the best fraggers in the pro scene so you might be thinking how did he get banned if he's currently a pro player? Well Shiko has been a pro for a very long time since 2016 but on October 11th of 2017 Shiko was banned from pro play for two whole years. The alleged reason he was banned was macroing and so to give more context in a pro league match from 2017 Shiko's team B Genius was playing against Penta. Now Penta was a very popular team at the time due to being one of the best teams at the time and having a very popular player named Pengu. And when these two teams faced off, Shiko popped off, did amazing. He had a 1.6 KD through the three games of the series and he just played very well. Now Shiko's team did go on to lose this series 2-1, to one, but since Shiko did so well, some players from the other team accused Shiko of cheating. Now according to Pengu, the investigation started as they felt Shiko had more information than humanly possible, so something like wall hacks or something like that. They sent this concern to the developer of the Pro League Anti Cheat. They found that Shiko had been pressing the 4 key at an inhuman rate, and a lot of people speculated that this was for some sort of recoil hack or something like that. But nonetheless, on October 11th, 2017, Shiko was banned from Pro Play for two years. And Shiko and his team worked very hard to prove that Shiko wasn't cheating by showing that the anti cheat software that was used to detect the alleged macro Shiko used wasn't very reliable, as well as the fact that the 4 key Shiko was allegedly macroing is used to activate Habana's x Caros pellets, which Shiko used Habana quite a lot in that series against Penta, so he could have just been pressing it really fast to activate the x Caros pellets as fast as possible, but this whole situation is just a really big question mark as Pengu stood on the fact that he thought Shiko was cheating, and Shiko and his team stood on the fact that he wasn't cheating, and for me, I lean more towards uh, Shiko wasn't cheating.
competing, but once again, I guess we'll never know. But after this two year ban from competitive play, Shiko went on to become an even better player and arguably the greatest Siege player ever. Tequila is one of the most popular Rainbow Six Siege streamers and YouTubers right now, but on February 2nd, 2022, his account was permanently banned for cheating. Now, Tequila isn't a cheater, so how is he banned for cheating? Well, it's through a special way that hackers can actually get your account banned without ever having access to your account or even being logged in or anything like that. They just have to play on a separate account and are able to get your account banned. And basically the way that this works is a hacker plays on one account that they created or just a random account that they have and they basically aimbot, wall hack, whatever. And basically when Ubisoft slash BattleEye goes to ban the account, the hacker has the name of the account shown as a different name. So as you can imagine, they could just change it to any account they want, including streamers accounts. And originally this was thought to only be able to happen to streamers and YouTubers with access to streamer mode, but it was later found out it can happen to anyone basically. But specifically, we're talking about Tequil, and he did eventually get his account back a few hours later and it just continued on, but it's kind of crazy that hackers can get any account banned basically in such a simple way. This next person on this list is pretty unknown streamer named Franco R6. He's a pretty unknown streamer and YouTuber, but basically in June of 2020, a streamer and YouTuber named Chris Godley was in a game with another streamer named Franco R6. And Chris Godley and his team were convinced that Franco was cheating and they typed in the chat accusing Franco of cheating and he denied it and even said to look at his Twitch stream. So when they went to his Twitch stream, he was obviously hiding the cheats, but they tricked him into turning on his display capture instead of his game capture, showing his wall hacks on stream. So I'm going to show you the clip right now. You're cheating. Está rocheando, está rocheando, está rocheando. Rushing, 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 guys. What? There go, that's him, that's him, that's him. What? Pick me up, uh... And so as you can see, it's a pretty funny clip. I don't know how he fell for it, but yeah, that's that whole situation. Somehow got tricked into showing his hacks on stream. And after this, he went on to make multiple different accounts, uh, deleted his Twitter and all different stuff. He's basically gone now. But yeah, moving on to the next person, we have Spoy. And Spoy is a Swedish pro player for the team M80. Spoy has been banned multiple times, four times to be exact, which is actually pretty crazy. And the first reason he got banned was from stat banning which just basically means if your stats are similar enough to cheaters in terms of KD, headshot percentage, and some other stats, you will get banned. So basically, if you're good enough and you have good enough stats, you can get banned. And the other way he got banned was once again, someone went onto his account, started blatantly hacking, and got his account banned. And each time he had gotten his account banned, he got it unbanned pretty soon after. But moving on to the last streamer that we have on this list, we have Macy J. And Macy J is a very well-known Siege YouTuber and streamer, and he has been one of the biggest since Siege came out. But on July 17 of 2017, he was banned for cheating. And this was live on stream, and this was his reaction. My god, that ban wave, though. Oh, yeah. oh that felt great. Oh, it, th here's the second one. Oh, what is this? Holy shit. Look at him. Look at them all get wrecked. Oh, my god. I just have to sit back and enjoy this right now, chat. It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. <laughs> What? Chat, what is this? What? I'm talking to Epi, I swear to God. I, okay, like how do I even explain this? How the hell do I even explain this? Like I, I swear to fucking God, I've never done this. I swear to fucking God, I've never done this. Like. What is this? Like, I swear. Okay, you don't understand. Like, literally cheating would be career suicide. Career suicide right now. And I swear to God, like, what can I, like, it would literally be career suicide. Never once have I gone on anything. Never once have I, I've never Googled anything. I've never touched anything. I'm legit. I'm 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 talking to Epi right now. 100% never even looked at it. You got to understand. This would be literally career suicide for me. I would never cheat ever. Ever. Like literally ever would I ever cheat.
like you gotta understand this would be the absolute epitome of career suicide not only for YouTube twitch everything like 100% and as you could see, he was very mad and shouting that he didn't cheat and that it would be a career suicide if he did cheat, which is fully justified because he wasn't cheating. But the way that Ubisoft determined he should have been banned is actually really bad. It might be the worst way that they've determined someone needed to be banned in this entire video. So basically, all the person who got him banned did was sign his account up for a trial for a renown hack. And that's just crazy that all someone had to do was just sign his account up for something related to hacking and boom, his account was banned. Didn't even have to do any hacking, name spoofing, impersonation, or nothing like that. I think it's just mostly due to Siege being in earlier stages with the anti-cheat and just cheating protection in general, and I hope something like this couldn't happen today because that would actually be pretty crazy, but I'm pretty sure that would not happen today. And yeah, that's really all for this video. If you enjoyed, check out this video right here and subscribe right there. And if you want to help me out some more, then like this video and comment down below. And yeah, that's all. Peace. Bye-bye.